A voice breaks the quiet. What if everything you knew about your mind was only a fraction of what it could be? What if right now, hidden in the folds of your skull, lay the potential for something far beyond imagination? We are about to step into a world where the limits of thought are shattered, where the brain as we know it no longer dictates the boundaries of human possibility. What if we could use the full capacity of our brains? It begins as a question, simple yet profound, and yet the implications are anything but simple. Humans are extraordinary creatures. We have walked across continents, split atoms, mapped the heavens, and rewritten the very code of life itself. And yet our brains, our command center, are in theory only partially used. Some scientists suggest we tap into perhaps 10% of our neural potential. Others say this is a myth. But consider for a moment that the true capacity of the human mind is vast, hidden, dormant, waiting. Imagine a world where this potential is unlocked, where every neuron, every synapse, every subtle network of chemical and electrical activity within your brain fires in full harmony. The first thing you notice is the clarity. Thought moves at unimaginable speeds. You perceive the world not in moments, but in layers of possibility. You see patterns others miss. You understand connections that once seemed impossible. Memory is no longer a fragile archive. It becomes infinite, flawless, and immediate. You can recall every sight, every sound, every nuance of experience with perfect fidelity. But it's more than memory. Your sensory perception evolves. Colors are sharper, textures richer, sounds more intricate. You can detect the faintest vibration in the air, the subtlest shifts in temperature, the whispers of chemical changes in the environment. Imagine tasting a drop of water and sensing its entire chemical history. Imagine seeing a leaf and understanding the life it has absorbed from the sun over centuries. Decision-making transforms. You calculate probabilities instinctively, intuitively. You anticipate outcomes before events even begin to unfold. Complex systems, from economies to ecosystems, reveal their hidden mechanics to you. And emotion. Yes, emotion becomes a tool rather than a limitation. Empathy is amplified not just toward other humans, but toward every living system around you. Yet the full capacity of the brain is not just about amplification, it is transformation. It blurs the line between mind and matter. Mental imagery can manifest as action almost instantly. Ideas are not just abstract, they are real, tangible, malleable. This is a brain capable of reshaping reality, if only we could harness it. But how does this compare to the brain as it exists now? Historically, our cognition has always had limits. Early humans relied on instinct, on rudimentary reasoning, on the slow accumulation of knowledge over generations. As civilizations rose, so too did the complexity of our thinking. Language, writing, mathematics. They expanded the brain's reach beyond its natural confines. But even with these tools, we have only scratched the surface. The human mind, as remarkable as it is, operates under constraints. Memory fades. Attention is limited, perception is narrow, and consciousness is at best a fragmented window into reality. Science gives us clues about what lies dormant. Neural imaging reveals vast networks that lie quiet during ordinary thought. Certain regions, such as those associated with abstract reasoning, pattern recognition, and long-term planning, are active only partially. Neurons communicate through bursts of electrical activity yet much of the potential connectivity of the brain is untapped. The architecture is immense. Billions of neurons, trillions of synapses, a computational power that dwarfs our fastest supercomputers. And yet, evolution did not design us to use it all at once. Energy demands alone are staggering. A human brain consumes roughly 20% of the body's energy, despite being only 2% of total mass. To activate every neuron simultaneously would require far more energy than our bodies can is nature's safeguard, a balance between potential and survival. But imagine if this limitation were lifted. Step by step, the consequences unfold. First, the mind accelerates. Learning which once took years happens in days. Complex skills, from music to medicine to quantum physics, can be mastered in hours. Knowledge accumulates exponentially. A single individual could hold more information than entire libraries. Then, perception expands. Humans begin to see the invisible. Magnetic fields, microscopic organisms, chemical gradients in the air. Time itself feels different. The past, present, and future are no longer linear. Memory and prediction overlap, allowing a person to anticipate events before they occur. Planning becomes flawless, strategy impeccable. Social dynamics transform. 
With enhanced empathy and understanding, human conflict diminishes, but not entirely. Complexity increases. Minds capable of reading intentions and emotions perfectly might create a new kind of tension. The psychological weight of omniscience. Understanding everything does not mean controlling everything. It can isolate as much as it connects. Technology advances at a rate never before seen. Ideas that once took decades to materialize spring to life in weeks. We build machines that think alongside us, mirror our expanded cognition and amplify it further. Medicine is revolutionized. Cures for diseases emerge almost instantaneously as the brain intuitively models biology at molecular levels. Engineering feats become seamless, space travel accelerates, and energy management reaches unparalleled efficiency. But with great power comes profound consequence. The physical body evolved for ordinary cognition begins to struggle. Energy demands spike. The heart, lungs, and vascular systems strain to supply the brain. The nervous system becomes sensitive beyond comfort, perceiving stimuli that can overwhelm unprepared senses. Sleep transforms possibly vanishes, replaced by micro-rest cycles or entirely new states of consciousness. Psychological resilience is tested in ways humanity has never experienced. And then there is society itself. Civilization, built on limited cognition, cannot adapt immediately to minds that think at unimaginable speeds. Economic systems, political structures, even language itself may become obsolete. A single, fully realized brain could outmaneuver entire institutions. Collaboration changes. Competition becomes multidimensional. Ethics becomes a maze of considerations too complex for ordinary minds. Yet, even as we imagine the extremes, some things remain uncertain. Creativity might surge beyond comprehension, allowing humans to invent art and ideas that defy categorization. But paradoxically, it could collapse under the weight of infinite possibilities, leaving the mind unable to choose or focus. Emotions may deepen or fragment. Consciousness itself could evolve into something alien. Step back, and the scenario unfolds like a cascading sequence of cause and effect. First, initial awakening. Neurons fire in unprecedented synchrony. Memory expands, perception sharpens. Individuals experience the world in hyper-real time. Second, adaptation. The body and mind struggle to maintain equilibrium. Humans learn to regulate energy modulate attention, to filter the overwhelming input of a fully active brain. Third, acceleration. Learning and innovation skyrocket. Society begins to transform. Old hierarchies crumble. Knowledge becomes instantaneous. Technology becomes indistinguishable from thought. Fourth, integration or divergence. Humanity either adapts collectively creating a new civilization of hyper-conscious beings, or fragments under the pressure. As some cannot cope with the cognitive storm within, every action, every consequence ripples outward. The environment, too, responds. Humans with perfect understanding of ecosystems might repair damage on a scale previously impossible. Or conversely, mistakes magnified by misapplied cognition could accelerate destruction. The balance of nature and culture would be recalibrated in real time. In essence, using the full capacity of the brain is not just an individual transformation. It is a planetary one. It challenges everything we know about identity, power, morality, and the structure of civilization itself. The brain is no longer a passenger. It becomes the driver of fate. History offers glimpses of this potential. Consider geniuses whose minds were extraordinary even in their partial state. Leonardo da Vinci, whose sketches contain knowledge centuries ahead of his time. Nikola Tesla, whose visions of energy and technology pushed boundaries far beyond his era. Srinivasa Ramanujan, whose intuition in mathematics revealed structures previously unimaginable. Now imagine if these minds operated not at a fraction, but at their full capacity. Multiply this across billions of humans, and the trajectory of history itself is rewritten. Yet the most profound truth is this. Even at full capacity, the brain is not infallible. Knowledge does not automatically lead to wisdom. Omniscience does not guarantee morality. The challenge of consciousness, how to choose, how to care, how to act, remains. What we do with power, and how we govern the infinite complexity of our minds, may define the survival of our species. And so we return to the question, the one that began this journey. What if we use the full capacity of our brains? The answer is as thrilling as it is terrifying. 
It is a universe of possibility, a realm where thought can shape reality, a reality where humanity itself could become something far greater or face conflict.